Hey guys, my name is Hayden Young. I am the Oki Foodie King and I have a 2020 RAV4 LE all-wheel drive. Today, I wanna give you some tips and let you know probably six things maybe you didn't know about your Toyota in any model or for your Toyota RAV4. Stay tuned, let's get it. If you haven't already, please give this a thumbs up and subscribe. Okay, so the first thing I wanna talk about is your automatic dimmer. Okay, dim lights and your interior dim lights. Uh, a lot of people ask about this. What is this for? What does this do? And some people freak out because they can't see nothing. They're like, what just happened? It's because maybe your knee touched this little dial right here. So all you gotta do is turn it up and then there's three different levels. And then if you turn it up all the way without clicking, it's basically gonna be like an automatic dimmer, stay on the brightest, but it's gonna to adjust to the light. And so when you adjust to the light, you're gonna see that, uh, or you adjust to outside, the light's gonna be dimmer, all right? Which I don't like. And so what I do is I turn it on all the way. You see that what I did right there? You just turn it up all the way where it clicks and it's gonna stay bright all the time. Whereas if you turn it off, it's gonna make things dim even at night. I have my flash on here while I'm videoing so you really can't tell, but it's up to you what you like. But for me, I like to click it up, click it on, everything's bright all the time. Okay, so this next one right here is this automatic start stop. You can turn it off, all right, or you can turn it on. If you turn it on, all right, what's gonna happen is, is you're gonna drive, be in drive mode, all right? And then when you stop, I'm in my garage, but it's hard to tell. But when you stop, it's gonna click in and your car is gonna start counting in numbers. And what that does, it's gonna shut off your engine, all right? And then all of a sudden, when you start to drive again, it's gonna come back on. It's kind of notice a little jolt. But what that does is save on your gas mileage. Some people like it, some people it absolutely annoys them. Okay, now we're going to be looking at the back floor deck, all right? What I love about this, it's very spacious. You have the rubber mats to keep it from getting dirty, but I'm gonna take mine out and show you what is cool about the back this. floor deck. You notice it's, it's cloth, all right? You lift it up and you have a spare, which I love. I was looking at a, uh, uh, a Jeep Compass. I did not like it because it did not have a spare. This has a spare. What I like about this, it's kind of like the all weather mat. So if I didn't have the mats, you can use this and you can flip it over, all right? And you can use this side. Now, what is cool is you can lower it. See as I'm doing right there? It goes lower, okay? And what I love is you get a two inch space on each side if that's what you want to do, all right? Which I use that sometimes to create extra space if you go to the lake, to the beach, to camp out. And then also you have this if you get groceries, you get mulch, soil, or if you go camping. I just think it's better to use this if I did not have my rubber floor mat. But a lot of people don't know that, that you can reverse it or even make it lower. Okay, the very next thing is automatic high beams. I have a 2020 RAV4 LE all-wheel drive. This is pretty much basic in all Toyotas and RAV4s. So you're going to hit the automatic high beams. All right, and then you're going to switch your lights to the high beams, all right? And then you're going to flip it forward. When you do that, okay, do you see that A at the top? Come on, that's automatic high beams. What is cool about that is when you are driving maybe on a long road trip and you're kind of just two lane highway and it's dark, you can flip those on, it brings on your automatic high beams. And then when someone's coming at you, it shuts them off automatically at a certain distance so it doesn't blind them. And then as soon as they pass you by, they flip right back on, all right? How about that, it's pretty cool. The next thing I wanna talk about is adaptive cruise control. You're gonna hit this button with the car and the time and you're gonna see that it has enabled active cruise control. And then if you hit this button right here, okay, it's gonna show you three bars, two, one. One bar is two car links, two bars is three car links, and I believe three bars is four car links, all right? Now, when you do this, I'm gonna set it. Okay, I'm gonna push this button, set. 
okay, at 56 miles per hour. Now here's the great thing. I'm going to hit up like this. I'm going up. I'm putting it up to 70 miles per hour. It's literally speeding up on its own. I don't have the gas pedal down. It's pretty awesome. Like for road trips, this is a lifesaver on my foot, my calf, my leg. I literally can just kind of chill. I love it. Look at it. It goes all the way up 69. It's going to hit 70. Maybe not. I'm going up an incline right now, but pretty cool stuff. So I'm cruising along here at 70. Let's say I get in the other lane and then there's a car right there. Whoop! It's going to slow down. Okay, to keep the safe distance that you have it set of how many bars you have set, all right, and then you're gonna slow down, stay at the speed limit. Now, if I go over in the other lane, watch this, I bada bing, I bada boom, it's gonna start speeding up, all right, on its own. It is money, dude. I like my bar set at about two bars, all right, about four car lengths, so it gives you a safe distance. Uh, between you and the other person just keeps you safe. The next feature I like is this lane tracing assistance right there. Okay, you turn it on and then you're gonna see LTA is turned on. All right, and watch what happens. When you are driving and you're trying to get into the other lane or you swerve over, it's gonna beep and it's gonna put you right in the middle of the lane. All right, this is so great for road trips because if you are like I don't know, messing with your phone to change the song for your kids, or maybe you're taking a drink, you're not paying attention, or having some heated fellowship with your spouse about where to go, boom, it's gonna put you right back in the middle lane or just maybe having some lovely fellowship with your spouse. Now, if you do want to get over, you can use some force to actually get over, but you gotta use a little extra force, okay? Just like this, see I'm going back and forth. Now, if you turn your blinker on, Okay, if you turn your blinker on, you can go over and it will not correct you or make the noise. Okay, so I'm going to get back over my lane with my blinker on, same thing, just like that. The other cool thing about lane tracing assistance, you don't even have to touch the steering wheel and it will steer for you. Okay, look at that. It's just steering me. It's going on a curve. I'm not even touching it. All right, which is the crazy thing. All right, look mom, no hands. And they'll just keep you in the lane, just like that. See that's correcting me? I'm not even using my hands. But now it's giving me warning message to put my hands on the steering wheel. But that's how safe it is. I love that lane tracing assistance. However, if I'm not on road trips, I sometimes turn it off just because it can get annoying trying to beep and correct you, all right? but. For road trips, it is money, dude. Hey, in Oklahoma, it's 107 degrees. What in the world? It's a miserable summer here. We've had a massive heat wave. Heat's not going anywhere. Everyone's giving Ric Flair's woo for the heat. Hey, guys, my name is Hayden Young, the Oak Foodie King. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video that I made. Give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and let me know, do you use these features? Did you know about these features? Some people like using these features, some people don't, but I'm curious what you think. Let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks. Peace, love, and hope. See ya.